Grandpa stops carrying Grandma. Let's find out what the little one wants. Waffles. Wonderful choice. The chef approves. And Grandma. That's easy. Buzz, what will you start? With eggs. Be careful when you crack them. Well, that's it. You broke it. I think you wanted to be that way. And what's this? Sugar? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Hey, 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 that's enough. These are sugar waffles, not waffle sugar. Well, okay, this will do. No, don't sneeze. Don't sneeze, I beg you. Oh. <sighs> that was a close call. Yeah, little brother, you've splattered the whole table. Oh, and everyone else. Sorry. Well, it's not a big deal. Let's continue. Flour is ready. What now? Oh, milk? Yes. You can add more milk. Don't be stingy. Delicious milk. That's the speed. Faster than any mixer. <laughs> Skittles will definitely cheer up the little one. Beautiful. Look how he's pouring the batter into everything. Yeah, little one. These waffles will be amazing. Colorful and hopefully tasty. That's job well done, Buzz. Oh, wow. A heart-shaped waffle maker for the boy? He's making an effort for his little sister to surprise her. How beautiful. Yummy. I would eat such waffles myself. And with chocolate and sprinkles. Well, that's delicious. Grandma is sure that food coloring ruins the stomach and the taste of waffles, so the grandma won't add them. Grandma's secret is maple syrup. Put a lot of it. Don't hold back, Grandma. Come on, it's delicious. And of course, some butter. Ah, oh, these will be delicious waffles. What about the chef? Zucchini? Zucchini and waffles? I wonder what will come out of this. Eggs in there, too? So little flour? I thought waffles needed more. Don't be stingy, chef. Well, okay, you're the chef. You know better. Whip it up quickly. Time's running out. Mm, yeah, that's not dough. That's some kind of green liquid. Oh. The main thing is to time everything to the second so that these waffles don't burn. Everything must be beautiful for the chef. So let's add a couple of leaves what? for decoration. Ew. Come on, little one. Everything's ready. Where do we start? Our girl starts with waffles that grandma prepared. Hey, why did you throw away the butter? Well, how is it? Is it good? Uh, I think the little one didn't like it. Oh. Well, look what chef prepared for you. How is it? Uh, you threw this away too? Well, the waffles themselves don't look bad. Try them. What, gross? Well, the taste is probably like a sponge. The little one won't go for it. And these are cute waffles, heart shade with sprinkles. Isn't that adorable? Prepared by your brother. Delightful and delicious. Buzz, you won. Congratulations. And here's the winner's dance. Hey, don't sleep. The little one is a new order. What is it this time? Ooh, french fries. The brother's ready. The chef is too. Hey, Grandma, we've already started. Let not get distracted. It's a challenge. So, the butter. What will you do with it? Why is it pouring so poorly? Looks like the lid broke. Yeah, it will be faster without it. Well done, brother. Now, toss the fries in. What? You're going to cook frozen fries? Aw, oh, lazy boy. Grandma is horrified by you. Careful. Of course, it's frozen fries. There's so much water in them. It's going to splatter the whole kitchen with oil. Oh Stop pounding. Better throw it away quickly. That's right. If you cannot do it, don't Sorry. attempt it, Buzz. Grandma, explain how to properly cook fries. You need just a tiny bit of oil. And place the potatoes in small portions. Ah, Grandma, you're so like your grandson. The main thing is not to splatter the oil. The appetizing and crispy fries are ready. Let's plate them and oh, add yeah. a bit of ketchup. What's fries without ketchup? What does chef say? I think she disapproves. That's too simple for her. She divides the fries into portions, takes the thinnest slice of bacon, fries it a bit, and rubs the fries in it. Yeah, that's much prettier. And sauce as well. Yeah, that will make the dish much tastier. And parsley will add beauty to it. Brilliant, chef. What's Buzz pondering? What? Did he come up with something? Come on, surprise us. What will he do now? Gummy candies? Mm. Yeah, they resemble french fries. 
A heart-shaped sauce dish? And you pour strawberry syrup into it instead of ketchup? That's interesting. I think the little one will like it. Little one, give it a try. <laughs> Look, hmm. this dish is from Grandma. It looks very delicious, right? Try it. Don't forget about the ketchup. Stop playing, little one. Try it faster. Everyone's eager to know who's the winner. Well, how is it? Not bad, but there are other contenders. This is a masterpiece from the chef. The little one doesn't eat parsley, mm, but the sauce yummy. looks quite appetizing. Try it. What? You don't like bacon? Then try what your little brother prepared for you. It's not fries, it's jellies. Delicious, right? You want some more? I think I know who the winner is. Of course, that's your brother. Congratulations, Buzz. Just don't dance this time, I beg you. Attention, the little one is ready to place a new order. And that would be sushi rolls. Buzz, do you know what sushi rolls are? Well, Chef definitely knows, but Grandma is at a loss. Buzz is sure that nori and fish are total garbage. Since the little sister enjoys gummy candies, he'll use them again. He places these gummies and squeezes cream onto them. And even gummy eyes. Well, of course, it wouldn't be complete without gummy bears. You did it with these rolls, Buzz. I think the little one will appreciate them. You're simply a master. What a beauty. What, not done yet? And the syrup, too? Better give them to me, Buzz. What does she need them for? Even Grandma is impressed, but not the chef. Now she will show us a real master class. Boil rice and wait. Grandma, are you trying to intimidate chef? You better not do that. Look at yourself. Now you're covered in rice. Chef's second ingredient is avocado. Maximum healthy fats, minimum harmful carbs. Grandma, are you doing your thing again? I wonder if grandma can slice salmon as thinly as chef. I mean, like a pro. The rice is already cooked. Don't forget about nori, chef. Of course you won't forget. You're a professional. Cheese and avocado will be the filling, and the mat will help us shape the rolls. Just put the fish on top, and chef's dish is served. What about you, Grandma? Will you repeat that? Well, doesn't look very similar. Ah, uh, Grandma, you've made some kind of mess with Nori. But our Grandma doesn't give up. I wonder what she's up to. She's cutting cucumbers and now squeezing the center out of them. Why? Oh, she puts rice in there. Well, that's simple and quick. Well, little one, what do you think? Where will you start? With grandma's rolls. Well, they seem to be as round as real sushi rolls, but... Sorry, grandma, the little one doesn't eat that. Try harder next time, okay? No. And these are chef's rolls. They look exactly like you drew them, huh? Tasty? I think the little one enjoyed them. Be careful, that's wasabi. It's very spicy. Well, I did warn you. Try your little brother's rolls instead. Hey, 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 that's not a toy. These are sushi rolls. Well, how is it? I think the little one liked them. Time to announce the winner. And of course, that's Buzz. Big Brother wins again. The kitchen starts to yawn, little one, and something needs to be done. That's right, coffee will save everyone. Chef will make it in no time. Grandma is a pro at this, too. Okay. Even Buzz knows how to make it. This packet's been lying around at Grandma's for a long time. I know it, so that's a good reason to brew it. Right, don't limit yourself to just boiling water, Grandma. Milk would add flavor to it. Well, how is it? Is it delicious? Hey, Buzz, don't you wash your hands? Don't do it like that. Better make your coffee. Buzz is sure that the little one likes it cold and sweet. He takes ice and adds chocolate syrup. I wouldn't mind such sweet coffee myself. He decorates the mug and adds some ice to it. Well, where's coffee then? <laughs> oh, hey, little brother, that's a scam. You're using ready-made coffee. Hey, 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 you're just as much of sweet tooth as your little sister. Seems like it runs in the family. So the little one definitely should like your sweet coffee. And the sweetest Oreos, too. Yeah, Buzz, I somehow think you'll win this time again. What's up, Grandma? Are you going skiing? Ah, oh, are you already practicing the victory dance? Wait a minute, Chef hasn't stepped in yet. 
but Chef only uses the best coffee beans. Each bean undergoes a personal selection. The chef manually grinds them and then brews them. For chef, everything must be precise. Only then can the perfect taste be achieved. However, the little one probably won't enjoy black bitter coffee. That's why chef adds milk, which is frothed right in the pitcher. Grandma, you could also use gadgets, you know? And a compliment from chef, cotton candy. Little one, the coffee's ready. Try it quickly. Recognize grandma's mug? What? Is it not good? Yeah, instant coffee's like that. What? Well, grandma, that's your fault. Hmm. The little one is happy with cotton candy. Little one, don't forget, it's a coffee contest. Look, you've grown mustaches. Hurry up, eat them and try chef's coffee. I think it should be very tasty. Hey, what are you doing? You forgot, it's cotton candy, it dissolves in water. But for the little one, it's not a problem. And your favorite little brother made this coffee for you. Yeah, it has Oreos and cream. Mm. Apparently, the little one really likes iced coffee. Yeah, I love it too. And Buzz had no doubt about it. Hmm. I would give the victory to Buzz, but the little one doesn't think so. Chef, congratulations. The victory's yours. You. Hey, Ben. Look, Jane seems to be watching an interesting show. I'm gonna prank her. It's gonna be very funny. She might get offended, sure. But in the end, she will laugh together with us. Pour all the cereal into a bowl. And into the empty box go disgusting worms. Aw, oh, yuck, they're so repulsive. Now, give all this to Jane so she can have a breakfast. Hey, Jay, aren't you hungry? You want to have a snack? Oh, thank you. <laughs> the show must be so interesting that she doesn't even see what she's pouring into her bowl. I really hope she sees what she's about to eat before she swallows this nastiness. Ugh, they're wriggling so disgustingly. Enjoy your meal, sister. <laughs> What? What? Something goes wrong? Now we'll be calling you Worm Lover! Jane came up with a cool idea on how to prank her brother. She wants to make a fake table, the black tablecloth, with a hole for the face. Then put popcorn on top and do scary makeup. Time for scaring! Hey, Ben, look, a whole bucket of popcorn. It's cool, right? You can watch videos and eat it. But why is it moving? Hey, did the popcorn bite you? I think this is not popcorn, but a scary monster. Ben came up with an amazing idea for a prank. He has a fake hand, and Jane is now decorating the room for help. It will be funny if Ben accidentally drills his hand. You just need to put on this hand glove. Awesome! Great! Hey, Jane! Look who's coming to see you! Your brother's gonna help you now. He just brought tools with him. Oh no! He drilled his hand! Yeah, Ben, that was too much. Jane, wake up! It's Ben's hand that he drilled! Jane decided to take revenge on him and prank him with an artificial brain. For this, she needs bloody bandages and artificial blood. Now hide everything under the wig. Time to scare your brother! Ben, are you really scared of horror movies like a little kid? Sis, sit with your little brother or he'll freak out. What? What's wrong, Ben? You also love treats like a little kid? Oh no! What happened, Ben? Run faster! What a wimp he is! Jane has a new idea for the prank. Now she'll cut a scary face out of pumpkin that will definitely scare her brother. She needs to cut out the eyes and an ominous mouth. 
The main thing is to do everything carefully and not ruin the pumpkin. Ooh, it looks so scary now. Now we need to put a candle inside our pumpkin monster and hide it under the bed. Looking from the darkness, this face seems even scary. <laughs> but that's not all. We need to leave bloody traces. Yes. If the monster walk and hid under Ben's bed. With this, Jane has special red paint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, done. Hey, Ben, don't you notice anything? Ben, can you hear us? Hey, Ben. What? What's that? Someone's sitting under your bed. Oh, no, Ben. It's a real monster. You're such a whim. You've been pranked. What are they waiting for? The little one wants to eat. Oh, are they waiting for her to order? In the first round, you'll be making pasta, a huge portion, like this. Enid hasn't cooked it before, but I'm sure she'll do great. Granny, wake up! Your granddaughter wants pasta. So, Grandma is cooking pasta with the classic recipe. She puts spaghetti in the pot and waits for them to boil. Enid, what's wrong? Do you have an allergy? Oh, it's because of the flour. Well, it's good that it's just flour, not something disgusting. Enid needs flour because she wants to cook spaghetti on her own. There we go. Eggs come into play. Wow, you can even juggle? Oh, uh, never mind. You cannot. So, Enid needs the dough. When it's ready, she needs to divide it into small balls. But Enid colors each ball in a specific color. Wow, using a special device, she cuts the dough into colorful noodles. What a beauty. I think it looks really cool. And most importantly, it's genuine. Spaghetti in the form of little flowers. Granny, how are you doing? Grandma remembers well. Granddaughter always loved regular spaghetti with ketchup. So why not give her exactly that? Both satisfying and delicious. Wednesday, it's your turn. As always, thing comes to help. Wednesday doesn't want her pasta to look generic. It's too bright for her. She adds a bit of black color and it makes it just right. Ketchup looks exactly like blood. Wow, look at these jelly ice. They really complement the dish. Well, little one, are you ready to taste and pick the winner? Where will you start? First, she'll try grandma's classic spaghetti. She has loved it since childhood. Well, what do you say? Delicious and simple. Excellent. Next comes Enid's pasta. It turned out unbelievably beautiful and very cute. A true work of art. Enid even added some extra short pastas, and they look a lot like vampire fangs. Though they're not cooked and dry, so eating them, it's impossible. The little one decides not to even try Enid's pasta. Now it's Wednesday's turn. The presentation is rather unusual. First, the little one tries the eye. Of course, it's jelly. Turns out the little one loves them. Wednesday, how did you know that jelly goes so well with pasta? The little one is thrilled. I want to try it too. Leave me some. I think the winner is obvious. Wednesday cooked the best pasta this time. Despite the efforts of Grandma and Enid, Wednesday is the winner this time. Hey, stop scaring Grandma. Little one, are you ready to give everyone a new task? It will be a cocktail. Can you make it? Enid says yes. Grandma is also on board. And Wednesday's not falling behind. What strange ingredients are these? What are you gonna do? Apparently, a cocktail that we'll never forget. Sprite serves as the basis. And what do you need? Glass shape. Now Wednesday adds a secret ingredient to the Sprite, giving it the desired color. Look, Wednesday's sending things somewhere. Oh, now it makes sense to get her wipe cream. Granny, don't offend the assistant. Wipe cream will be poured all over the cocktail and then topped with jelly eyes. Yeah, we know that jelly eyes are Wednesday's favorite sweets. It looks cool and surely tastes great. Some red syrup to finalize the dish. Enid, what are you waiting for? It's time for you to start. Are you starting with jelly candies? First, Enid separates them into color groups. What's the next step? 
she layers them in a tall glass. Just look at how beautiful it turns out. Why do you need a fan? Wow, the jelly candies turn into a uniform mass right before our eyes. And the final step, wipe cream. I should agree, it always gives drinks a more presentable look. And of course, colored jelly for decoration. Wonderful. Girls, you've made beautiful and tasty cocktails. And Grandma's thinking about her granddaughter's health. She makes a cocktail that will be healthy first and foremost. It will consist of different vegetables that Grandma is trying to stuff into the blender. They just need to be blended and turned into a cocktail. Granny's cocktail is ready. I wonder, what does it smell like? Judging by Enid, it smells disgusting. And Wednesday seems like she wants to escape from this smell, I believe. But it doesn't upset Grandma. She's confident that her granddaughter will appreciate the care for her health. It's time to choose the winner. Little one, go ahead. At first glance, all the cocktails look quite nice. But our girl is wary of this nasty twig. Hopefully, she'll like the cocktail itself. Oh, no. Grandma, the little one says your cocktail isn't drinkable. Next in line is Enid's cocktail. It looks much more delicious. And the white cream, the little one just loves it. Look, she decides to eat it with a spoon. And rightly so, you cannot miss a bit of this delicious white cream. Done with the white cream, it's time to get a straw. What's this? Is the cocktail very solid? Impossible to drink? Why? The melted jellies have solidified again. Ah, yes, drinking this cocktail won't be possible. Wednesday, all hope is on you. Come on, little one, try it. Judging by your reaction, it's delicious. I would happily drink that cocktail too, especially with those appetizing jelly eyes. Look, she just cannot stop. Nice. Don't keep us waiting, little one. Tell us, who is the winner? Amen. <laughs> Wednesday. Congratulations. Little one, what task awaits everyone in this round? So, this time, the little one wants something like... Make her a little salad. A little salad it is. It will be done. You have a salad, little one. And not just okay. one, but three. Granny just harvested lettuce leaves. And they will serve as the base for the salad. Next come cheese and croutons. Looks like I even know the recipe for this Caesar salad. Grandma almost forgot about juicy tomatoes. They will be the decoration and add flavor to the salad. Eat it and Wednesday, how are you doing? Ina came up with a way to make the salad not only tasty but also beautiful. She returns to the flower theme and will create small but very cute flowers from veggies. I think it's a great idea. Looks wonderful. But for Wednesday, flowers are boring. She likes something dark in the salad, like basil leaves. A skull? What's that for? Oh, now it's clear. Wednesday will place other ingredients on the skull. Now she pours ketchup over everything. It looks a lot like blood. And she inserts two jelly eyes. Wow, look, the skull now looks way more interesting. It's time to choose the winner. Don't be scared, little one. It's just cheese and ham. Try it. But the little one finds it too scary to even touch. Let's see if Grandma surprises the little one. First salad really does look like Caesar salad. This is the kind of salad the little one is always ready to eat. She doesn't even want to stop. She's eager to empty the plate quickly. It is truly tasty and healthy. But there are Enid's flower-shaped veggies left. Yeah, they are just veggies. The little one didn't like it. Grandma wins. Enid, don't get distracted. The little one is ready to give a new task. What is it this time? Donuts! Enid is ready for the challenge. Grandma likes them too. Oh, Wednesday has already prepared black paint. For Grandma, the main thing is for the donuts to be delicious. After all, donuts are meant to be eaten, not just looked at. But Ina decided to make something bright again. Each of her donuts will be a different color. At least it will be beautiful. Look, Ina seems very confident in her victory. She's even provoking Wednesday. 
but she has already done part of the work. It's time for decorations. Of course, they cannot be a donut without red strawberry syrup. It really looks like blood. But that's not all. Watch how using white icing, Wednesday draws a spider web pattern. It's as if she pulled these donuts out of the spider's nest. What a beauty. Hey, can't go far without a reliable assistant. Thing, Wednesday needs Nutella. Come on, bring it here. Don't be afraid. It's not an evil hand. It's Thang carrying Nutella. Look how cool. Wednesday pours Nutella into molds and makes chocolate bats. It turned out to be a real work of art. And here are Grandma's donuts ready. But she doesn't want to decorate them too much. She sprinkles them with powdered sugar. Everyone loves powdered sugar. Hopefully the little one will be satisfied too. Enid's colorful donuts are also ready. They're so beautiful. You can't even take photos with them now. How cool is that? But is that all? Hey, take care of your teeth, Enid. <laughs> Every child dreams of covering their tongue in sweet sprinkles. How beautiful. Colorful donuts with vibrant sprinkles. Make your choice, little one. Yeah, don't be surprised. Wednesday did something unusual again. Even the bats looks delicious. Well, tell us, is it good? Okay. Little one decides it's not bad. But apparently she expected more. And how about grandma's donuts? Yeah, it will be much more convenient to eat them stacked on each other. Well, is it sweet? Is it good? The little one decides that these are just regular donuts. Let's see what she says about Enid's donuts. They most resemble the ones our little one loves so much. Apparently, it's unbelievably delicious. Enid, it's clear. Your donuts are the best.